Hey family. Hey. Good morning. It is a video day in May. Number 17. It is May 17, 2017. It is Wednesday and it is uh, 10.48 in the a.m. And I have come on to do the single ladies over 40 tag. Check that out. Okay, so I do have uh, some of the questions here. We're not going to edit this. We're going to take it all the way through, and we're just going to see how it go. Okay, so if this, is, if this ain't what you want today, then you ain't got to sit in here with us. But I've given you a brief synopsis as to what we talked about on today. So, um, do I have children? I do. I have two boys and a girl. 15, 17, and 20, and my girl is in the middle. Where am I in life? I'm to the point to whereas um, I just want to just, I just, I, I want to coexist with somebody, but I don't want, I don't want you to take me away from who I am, okay? I'm to a point in my life to where it's, if it don't feel right, it ain't right, in whatever aspect, but um, be it in relationships, in love, in money, um, in my home life or whatever. It don't feel right that it ain't right. That's just my philosophy about it all. I just feel like, especially in your past, if, you, if you're if doing something and it make you feel anxious or feel uneasy, then you're going the wrong way. You're not supposed to be going that way. You're doing the wrong thing. If it feel good, then you keep going that way. That's just one way uh, uh, your energy fluctuates around different situations and atmospheres and around different people. If it feel right, it's right. So, as long as you keep that philosophy right there, then therefore you know you're going right. So, um, and I look at that in, in all aspects. And right now in my life, I'm pretty comfortable. You know, I'm comfortable. But I would love to, of course, spend my life with someone with some secrecy. You know, some agape love type shit. You know, some best friends, some equally yoked, some soul partner, life partner type, you know, on some old that, longevity shit. Um, do I, what type of commitment do I want? Um, I've been married before. Um, I have one marriage under my belt already. And um, th at this point in time, I don't want a marriage. I want a commitment. And those are two different things where people get it fucked up. Because they'll have a marriage, but nobody's committed. So I want a commitment. I want a committed relationship to whereas I know that without a shadow of a doubt, we're going to work through whatever. It ain't no quitting. It ain't no none of that. We're just going to work through it. Fuck it. You know, it's it's us against all the, all the rest of these motherfuckers. So that is what I want. I want, I want a committed relationship. Um, the best part of the 40s. The best part of your 40s is when your kids are growing up and they can pretty much, you know, take care of their, their, their daily necessities on their own. Whereas they can go in there and fix themselves something to eat. I don't have to get up and, and, and get them dressed for school anymore. I don't have to walk them down to the bus stop and shit like that. And so that's right there looking at my kids now and getting up and getting out the way. Right now, that's one of the best parts of my 40s right now is watching my kids, you know, flourish and everything that I instilled in them, in them, I'm starting to see how they, you know, which path they're taking, you know, in, in, in their lives. So it's just, it's bad. I'm just overjoyed, you know. It's like because actually your kids are an extension of you. So if your kids is out here doing all kind of shit, in and out of uh, juvenile hall, getting suspended from school and expulsions and all that. In and out of the system and all that kind of stuff. Then there was a breakdown somewhere. So, you know, I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to tell the truth. But, you know, at this stage in my life, that is what I'm. one of the things that I'm most proud of is the way in which the direction my kids are going. So, that is one thing I'm, I'm kind of proud about. The best, another part, best part of my 40s is being comfortable in my skin now. It took me over 20 years to get to this weight, to get to this um, um, healthy plateau. I'm very healthy. I don't have no diabetes issues. I don't have high blood pressure, no cholesterol problems. Um, I can't see as good as I did before. It seems like it's just all of a sudden, it seemed like my vision began to change a little bit. And I'm like, damn, wow, what's going on? 
Um, my thyroid tends to give me issues from time to time, but that's something that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm giving that to God. As you can see how my, my voice tends to go through this gravel from time to time, like right now. And I know that it's more than likely my thyroid, but I'm just going to keep it healthy, keep doing what I'm doing, and, and it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah. Um, so, I'm pretty much healthy. I can eat whatever I want to eat. My uh, food of choice is fish. Um, my favorite place I like to fuck with is Golden Bird. I like their bits. Give me 18 of them and a, and a piece of cake to go with it. Yeah. Um, um, next to them, it will have to be Honey's Kettle in Culver City. They had one in Compton, but it closed. Um, that's the one that my sister then worked at. Uh, it was Golden Bird at first. Brother bought it. You know what I'm saying? And then it was Honey's Kettle. Um, on, uh, what is that? Alondra and what is that? White or, or Stoneacre. One of them. Anyway, it's a 99 cent store or something like that now. But yeah, back in the day, that was old Golden Bird and it was Honey's Kettle. But Honey's Kettle, oh my God, you better bless yourself. Right down the street from Sony, um, from, from, um, the Sony lot from, um, <coughs> um, um, the Sony, you know, picture studios. Right past there on Culver Boulevard, it's going to be, if you're coming off the 405, then it's going to be east of the 405 freeway, okay? And, oh, my God, and it's on Culver City Boulevard. It's going to be on your left-hand side, okay, as you're coming up past the, past the Sony. And, oh, my God, it is off the chain. I'm going to suggest that you make that left right there where you see um, um, Bank of America, there's a parking tower across the street. There's also a little parking right there on the street. If you got action, go ahead on and run with that. But other than that, you can go right there in the tower. Okay, they'll give you, I think, an hour or two hours for free. You know what I mean? Go and park up in there and go get your ticket, baby, because the line going to be long. I'm taking that right now. And on the weekend, oh, my God, the line be out the door. But that chicken is so off the chain. Okay, bless yourself. Now, I know a lot of people be on some old... Um, Roscoe's chicken and waffles and shit. Yeah, and it's fire. I, I, you know what I'm saying? I ain't had it in years, you know what I'm saying? It don't do that for me like that, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? To really bless yourself, though, check out that honey's kettle. They ain't paying me to do this, you know what I'm saying? I need to be getting some biscuits for free, you know what I'm saying? But when I tell you that chicken is so off the chain, oh, my God. And it's battered, you know what I mean? It's not the church's chicken flour, you know what I'm saying, this some, the, some shit that they done put some water and some motherfucking baking soda and shit in it, you know what I'm saying, it got some rise up in it and shit, it's battle, you know what I mean, shit, off the chain, off the chain, okay, uh, what is my dating style and what am I attracted to, my dating style is, I like to kick it, I really do. I like to kick it. I want some best friend shit to where we can just talk about all kind of shit. If we're going to lay in the bed all day, we can lay in the bed all day with some bomb ass food. Let's go get these bits, 18 of them, and a slice of cake for me, okay? Might want that German chocolate or the sake to me that day. It just depends. You feel me? They got one called Better Than Sex. Yeah, Golden Bird. Right there, you're going to get off of the 110 freeway on Manchester between Manchester and Florence on play, okay? On Western. That part right there. That, yeah. Let's go bow around, go get us some chicken, okay? I'll bring the eggs. Don't worry about that. You know what I'm saying? A minimum, okay? And then, therefore, we're going to lay up. We're going to kick it. We're going to watch TV. You know what I'm saying? We're going to kick it. So, I do. I really like to do that. I really like to take rides. Um, I love to put some bomb-ass music on, playlists or whatever, and just roll the fuck out. But can we stop and go get me a Jamba Juice first? Then I'm going to need you to buy that. I'm going to need a small, okay, let me pay for it because sometimes they give me a large anyway. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So I'm going to ask that you give me a strawberries wild with almond milk, okay? I needed almond milk, okay? That's the substitution right there. I need whey protein, probiotic, and a daily vitamin, okay? Yeah. And oh my God. I got a little military ID, you know what I'm saying? I'm a veteran's, uh, you know what I'm saying, spouse, ex-spouse, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I got my dependent card, you feel me? So then, therefore, it's going to be half off. Don't worry about it. It's going to be three ninety four. dollars okay? So then, yeah, I'm going to need you to go ahead on and get that. So, yeah, um, before we get started, before we take this ride. Um, and so, uh, yeah, now, um, 
And so I like to ride, you know. Um, I'm not really a, uh, I'm not a high post date. Like, you know, you got to take me. We got to go to four-star restaurants and this and this and this. No, I mean, I like it. You know what I'm saying? I've been blessed in my lifetime. But is it like a requirement to where, you know, he got to take me to such and such place to get out and eat? No, really. I like um, mom and pop spots. I like uh, fish spots. You know what I'm saying? Fried fish. The mom and pop spots, though, where they're going to put your shit in a paper bag or they're going to put it in a styrofoam, put, cut, cut a little holes in the top of it. You know what I'm saying? So it can breathe. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to need I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need us to have that in the car with us while we're rolling because I like to ride. What else I like to do? I like to go to jazz festivals and shit like that, especially in the summertime and stuff, and we get us some cute chairs to match and shit. And, you know what I'm saying? Little picnic baskets. You feel me? Uh, you know, my breasts aren't as big as they used to be, even though I'm still pushing a G, you feel me? But the thing is, I used to be able to put a whole bottle, you know what I'm saying, up under here and roll with it, you know what I'm saying, right on in the spot. They checking him for all this and this and this, but she got the bottle and then went in, you know what I mean? So, yeah, but uh, I like to go to jazz festivals in the summertime and just lay out and just watch some jazz and shit, and, you know, in the park and whatever have you. I do like to do that in the summertime. I love concerts and shit. So I'm a music type of person. I love music shit. So any type of music, you got me fucked up. It's like shit, for real, this is what we about to do? I'm all in. Another thing I want to do is I want to go to Disneyland so bad. And I want the um the new Mickey Mouse ears that studded out. Yeah, I want those. I'm going to need you to get that for me. So when we go to Disneyland, yeah, just know. I don't know how much they cost yet. I don't know what they cost. They ain't got to be the real... You know, this and this and this, the ones in the case and all that. But I do want, because they got some that's, I'm certain that's on that type of level with Savasi and Crystals and all that old type of shit. And they got some that's probably a little bit low-key, you know, downgraded from them, but still on flame. Get, I, I'm, I'm okay with that. I really am. I'm okay with that. Because I'm going to wear them. I'm going to wear them right there through the park and all that old type of shit. It's going to be all in the pictures and all that. I'm going to have them to go ahead on and pin mine on. Because I'm wearing it that day. Yeah. Um, so, and I love beach, going to the beach and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Even if we just gonna sit out there, you know? I've never done a bonfire. I really want to do that and shit. But, um, I like the beach and shit too. I like the movies, you know, um, just, um, you know what I'm saying? Not like, a, you know, I, I ain't into all the finger banging and shit in the movies. I don't know. I gotta kind of be feeling you though, probably. You know what I'm saying? I can't say I ever really did that. You know what I'm saying? How, how some motherfuckers go to the movies to really try to get them a quickie or whatever. I can't say I've ever done that in my life. Isn't that something? I ain't never, I ain't never had a motherfucker go ahead on and rub one or dig one out or whatever. You know what I'm saying? At the movie. So I don't know what that is. So I don't know. I can't say yeah, nay. I don't know. Now, if I'm feeling you a certain type of way and we on some old other shit, you know what I mean? Then probably so. I don't know. But I just ain't never, I ain't never, I ain't, I, I don't know what that is. You know? Um, people automatically assume because I'm so overt, I talk a whole lot, I cuss a lot, and people automatically feel that I'm doing a whole bunch and I'm just wilding the fuck out, and that's not always true. I think it's more of my defense mechanism, you know what I'm saying, for me to cuss a lot and be so overt, but really, like, in my personal life and shit, I'm really kind of quiet. I'm gonna still cuss a lot, though, and if you piss me off, I'm really gonna tie one on you tough. Yeah. Um, so... Uh, what else? And what am I attracted to? Man, I'm attracted to masculinity. That's what I'm attracted to. I, I, I love, I love a good smelling man. That smells good. You know what I'm saying? Not mixed with musk. You know, and funk and shit. Now, I'm gonna need you to take a full bath, a full good ass shower with a washcloth. That's, that's the difference. Because some men take shower and they don't use a washcloth. No, I'm gonna need you to, no, don't put the soap all in your ass. I need you to put, get a washcloth, okay? Because that's just, I'm, I mean, I don't know if it's just a Virgo in me or whatever, but cleanliness with me, is, I'm big on that. You want to fuck me completely up, and whereas I, nigga, my shit ain't even getting wet no more. I, I, I can't even do nothing. Come in there stanking. I'm fucked up. I can't, I mean, how, you want me to do what to it? I ain't going to be able to do it. Because I, it's like, I, it, it'll completely shut me down if your oral game you know, got some old other things going, some halitosis. I ain't going to be able to do it. You understand me? I'm just not, because I'm touchy-feely. I'm, I'm a cuddler. I'm going I'm to be up under you. I'm going to lay on top of you, all that old type of shit. I'm one of them. I'm touchy-feely grab. I'm that, okay? 
So with that, I'm going to need you to be on 10. You know what I'm saying? All this right here, I love a man with, you know, full face and all that shit. I love all that old type of shit, but I'm going to need that clean note. I'm going to need it clean with a little uh clarifying shampoo. VO5 got one, you know what I'm saying? 99 cents only store. Got it all day long, coming green. You know what I mean? I think it's like a cucumber or kiwi or some shit. Hit that with that. Whether you use Beijing or whatever your get down is, I ain't got no problem with none of that shit. But I just love the masculinity. Now, you Beijing and up in here, though, because I'm going to need you to eat some pussy. That's part of the terms and condition, okay? But that Beijing shit in the beard, that might do me something. I'm just saying. I, I don't know. That might do me something, though. And see, my pH balance means a lot to me. You know what I'm saying? Now, I've been on this celibacy shit for a minute. I ain't had... Now, now I ain't got over the hump to where... I mean, now, wait a minute. Yeah. I, I, I still, I still want to be held like a motherfucker. Okay, let me just go and say that shit. Probably if I just get held one good time, my motherfucking ass probably be good for six months. Oh no, but shit. But I, I've been cool on this celibacy thing. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I had nobody see no parts of this right here. I've been on some cool status. And now I'm getting momentum because I know that God gonna really bring me what I need. You know what I'm saying? The bullshit is over with. Now it's time to put up a shut up. Don't come in my motherfucking presence if you ain't ready. That's just the bottom line. Don't come holler at me if you ain't ready. Because I'm going to be that one. I'm going to just tell you right now. I'm going to be her. So I'm going to need you to be all the way the fuck ready. Bullshit games and all that bullshit. Call it all, all this motherfucking Rolodex shit. All that shit. Plenty of fish. Fuck all that. All, I'm going to need you to be done with that bullshit. Because I'm going to give you what you're waiting on. On some real 100 shit. I know how to work mine. Okay? Okay? I just look like this. But understand me. When it comes down to it. Nigga, I'm going to be one of them. That's all I'm saying. That's all I mean. I, 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 hey, all right. What's next? What's a deal breaker? A deal breaker is being too over controlling. I'm not going to be able to do that one. That is the biggest turn off. I never knew what it was. I know what it is now. And now I bet you I can smell that motherfucking shit a mile away. And God damn it, you want to turn me off real fast. Tell me what the fuck I can't do. On some real shit. Now, I don't have a problem with you telling me no. I find it to be very sexy for a man to say, Tina, now nah, we're not going to do that, baby. I'm sorry. No, no, no. We're not going to be able to do that. Nah, nah, we ain't doing that. Now, that right there, nigga, I'm going to fuck the shit out of you after that. Because I'm going to be so fucking turned on that it was like, damn, he really told me no. But I knew you told me no for the better good. You know, for us. You know what I'm saying? You on, you on some old giraffe shit. You looking on past the pastor. You see what's going on down there. You know what I'm saying? So then therefore you like, okay, it's some bullshit ahead. We ain't about to do this. Okay, when it's one of them and you telling me no, no problem. But just on some old, you can't go over there no more? Nah, that ain't going to be enough for me. I'm sorry. Nah, nah, because then therefore that's an issue that you need to fix in you. Okay, that ain't got nothing to do with where the fuck I go to. Okay, let's just be clear. Okay, another deal breaker would be a man not having his own. You got to be able to pay who the fuck you owe. I ain't lying to you. I don't give a fuck about what type of car you got, what year it is, how fast that motherfucker go. I don't give a fuck about none of that. But I do need to know that you are able to handle your business when it need to. I'm not putting in on what, you know what I'm saying, the, 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 the support agency and all that. I done secured my shit to a point to where, you know, I done made my shit comfortable for me. That's what got me nervous on this getting married shit again. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not really trying to own some old California split shit. I ain't really trying to do that. You know what I'm saying? So then therefore, let me just leave that right there. I'm just, I'm serious motherfucker. As much shit as I done went through for all this right here, I'll be damned if I get my shit twisted up. Fuck that. Okay, let's just be clear. Okay? See, nigga, we be on some uh, Stedman and Oprah shit like a motherfucker. Real shit. And if that ain't your tilt, then don't come holler at me. I'm just putting it out there right now. I'm just saying that, you know, I want to be committed. But as far as I'm not trying to take nothing from you, and I don't want nobody coming in trying to take nothing from me. Let's just go on to be clear about it. Right there. Okay. Oh, and another deal breaker is if he don't eat no goddamn pussy. I'm just telling you that right now. That part there, it's a wrap. I don't even, we ain't going to make it. I'm, I'm just being clear. Okay. I'm one of them. Okay. And that is just, you know what I'm saying? That's my thing. I mean, hey, 
You know what I mean? Do, uh, okay, well, auntie, well, what about, okay, what about him? It's still no problem. Okay? It's still no problem. You know what I'm saying? I'm still that one. Okay? The motherfucking rules and shit don't change either way. Okay? So, okay. Uh, and sex in the 40s. Sex in the 40s? The best. The best. And especially if you've been going through a progression in your life. If you've been going through a progression in your life and you ain't really been stagnant, now you're going to have times in your life throughout your generations, throughout your decades, that you're going to have some stagnant, some, you know, going to be stagnant a little bit. You're probably having your children going to school, you know, trying to figure shit out. You know, you're going to have times when your life is going to be low and you're going to be going through different things. They're called peaks and valleys. But <clears throat> in this life, though, and when you begin to understand how this life works and you get to become a, have a strong understanding about you and trust you, then therefore you begin to realize that all this bullshit that transpired in your life is nothing more than a pebble, a pebble in your path of progress. Okay? So then therefore you begin to look at it as such, okay, now there's something for this I need to learn. There's something from this right here I need to strengthen. You know what I'm saying? It ain't about the person that's doing it. It's about the way you receive it and the way in which you get your shit together so then therefore you no longer attract that. That's what's happening. You know what I'm saying? Because shit gravitate to you on what it feels as though you need. So if you're acting needy, you're going to become getting some needy motherfuckers. Let's just be point blank and serious about it. Okay. Uh, what's on my bucket list? Oh my God. I want to go to the Bahamas. I want to go to um, uh, the, uh, uh, Atlantis. Um, I remember remember when Whitney and Bobby went to Atlantis and shit, and they were showing that shit ever since then. Fuck me up. I want to go to Atlantis so fucking bad. That is on my bucket list. I don't have nothing on my list where I'm about to fall from shit, because, see, that ain't my tip. All that on some old, get in the helicopter and I'm finna strap this on your back and I'm gonna jump with you. Fuck all that. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm just telling you that right now. I'm not getting ready to hot air balloon. I don't give a fuck how many colors is on that motherfucker. I'm not gonna be able to do that. I'm afraid, I have a fr afraid of heights. You know, I don't fuck with ladders and none of that old type of shit. I don't, I'm, none of that. I'm, I'm cool on, I'm 5'5". Five five. And God damn it, if I get over a foot off the ground, nigga, I'm having a problem like a motherfucker. Now, in the water, I'm good if I know that there's a bottom. Okay? Now, out there, I know that that's going to cut off at eight feet. So, as long as eight feet, nigga, no problem. But if it's to the point that where I don't know what else is going on down there, nah. Because a uh, fuck under the sea. Darling, is better down where it's wet to take it from me. Fuck that I'm not going to be able to do it. See, now how these motherfuckers be jumping off yachts in the motherfucking Red Sea and all that shit? Fuck all that. I'm not going to be able to do it. Because I don't know what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? I, I seen Orca. Okay? I'm, I'm back when Pinocchio shit, when, you know what I'm saying? When that shit was came, you know, motherfuckers. I still got that motherfucker. Nah, I ain't got Pinocchio. My kids had it in VHS form. But that's, you know what I'm saying, on some old obsolete beta shit. You know what I mean? Back in the day, nigga, we had the motherfucker, the, uh, shit, holla at me on some old VHS and the disc, the two thing together. Oh, yeah, we thought, I'm shit, when me and Tony got that shit, we was like, nigga, we got the, we got the VHS and the disc on one, what you call it, on one what's the name. Yeah. He had got that shit overseas, and this was like in, uh, damn, like, 93, when the shit, like, a lot of motherfuckers didn't even know nothing about that shit at that point in time. And he had went overseas, came back with that motherfucker, and they was like, man, what kind of shit is that? Oh, man, nigga, uh, it got VHS and to do this right here. Some new shit you about to come out. Yeah, some this shit, all this right here, did do this together. Yeah. Uh, anyway. <laughs> so, what else is on my bucket list? Um... Uh, I love exotic places. You know, I love exotic places. That's like my shit right there. You know what I'm saying? I want to make love like on the beach, like on some old... Now, I don't know about having all that sand in my ass and shit because I already know I'm going to be on the bottom sometime. So, I don't know about having that, you know what I'm saying? Because it, it, that's too close. 
That's like one inch from that to that, and you got sand and all that going. See, I'm thinking about my pH balance. I always think about that shit on how my pH balance is going to survive this shit. You know what I'm saying? So, I, but I want to do it, though. I want to really do it like how they be on them Corona commercials and shit, and motherfuckers be all sitting out and motherfuckers in the middle of nowhere and all, all that old type of shit. Yeah, I want to do that shit. Yeah. Um, and, uh, we're going to cut this off at the last one, which is, what am I looking forward to? What I'm looking forward to is, hmm, being smarter, learning more things. I'm looking forward to tasting exotic stuff. Now let, me, now, let me just go on and be clear on this right here. I ain't never tasted no motherfucking pussy, and I ain't in no hurry about it, okay? Let's just be clear on that shit right there. Um, that's going to be a, I don't know about that old type of shit. That's going to be a no, okay? Let's just be clear, you know what I'm saying? I don't want motherfuckers to be like, well, you didn't say unequivocally no, no. I'm not going to be able to eat on no motherfucking pussy. My daughter is calling, so I'm going to have to go. But, yeah, that ain't, that ain't really my tip, though. <laughs> I'm sorry, I ain't gonna be able to participate right. I gotta be high in the motherfucker. High, nigga, I'm gonna need I'm a, nigga, I'm gonna need all kind of motherfucking yanks, yak, all that old type of shit. Gin. You know what I'm saying? Gonna make you sin. Let me go. My daughter call it. Alright, I'm going, family. Love you guys. Bye!